I'm Dr. Justin Black. I'm an MD anesthesiologist. I currently am at Suburban Hospital here in Bethesda, Maryland, and I'm entering my 10th year of practice. I've been using the CarboTrack device on several different um, types of procedures. Uh, probably the most common is our joint replacements, uh, total knees, total hips, and the anterior position using sedation. Often I'm using a non-rebreather mask or an oral airway and the carbo track applies nicely to both of those. Other instances are in our cath lab or vascular lab uh, for sedatives that we're doing sedation cases. We're entering our data manually and so uh, it's nice to have the carbo track for its reliability uh, with the tracing. It's really easy to use. Um, I think the first time uh, one of my partners pulled it out and showed it to me and, and just, you know, you peel off the back and, and apply it and it adheres itself well. Um, uh, the adhesive is good enough. You, you can actually, if you need to switch to a different airway or a different mask, it'll, it'll still have enough uh, adhesion to stick a second time. Uh, but it's really easy. You pop it on. Uh, there's ports for nasal cannula to fit into it and you connect your CO2. So. Well, I don't think I was unique. I think like uh, most people, um, I had to kind of jerry-rig something. You'd either put your sample line under a mask and uh, use the straps of the mask or a piece of tape to kind of keep it in place. Uh, uh, I had to use uh, angiocaths where you're cutting it, sticking it through uh, ports. So you, you just figured out a way to do it and, and that works, um, but it's, it's far more prone to falling out, being dislodged and having you be distracted and having to deal with that as opposed to something else. So this is really foolproof and you, you apply it and you just don't have to worry about it. It really gives you confidence while you're doing your sedation, especially with patients with sleep apnea and other issues uh, that can have apneic spells. If you see a, a change in your CO2 tracing, you can be more confident that it's real as opposed to did my sample line fall on the floor or something like that. It's now just become a part of my equipment, um, you know, just like our infusion pumps and tubing and things like this, just like an oral airway when I'm doing certain cases, uh, it's part of the equipment now. I look for the device um, and uh, anytime it's not stocked with our regular equipment, you know, it's pretty disappointing. I, I, I don't see a reason to go back to something else of, of rigging it up. Um, it's just unreliable. This is a device that we've needed for a long time. We knew we needed and, and finally somebody came up with it. It's it's simple and it's just another adjunctive device to use for our monitoring.